What's up Star Wars fans, today I want to talk to you about The Bad Batch Season 2. I asked you the community what you thought was coming in this next season of The Bad Batch, and as always you came through with some fantastic speculation. But hey, before we get to that, if you love Star Wars and speculation, then hit that subscribe button and come back again soon. That said, let's get back on track here with our first prediction when it comes to The Bad Batch Season 2 from Jay Mikowski. He states on the community tab, I believe Crosshair will die in Season 2. Throughout the season, he'll still be working for the Empire, however, we'll see his conscience being troubled every time he's asked to hunt down the Batch. And at the end of the season, he'll sacrifice his life to save his once called family, saying a similar line that Gregor said in Rebels when he died. At least I died knowing that I fought for something I chose to fight for, whether it be for the Empire or for my family. And this is certainly some great speculation here, Jay. I certainly thought that Crosshair was going to be redeemed in season one of the Bad Batch, but I do like how they didn't make it happen right away. And maybe what we'll see in season two is more of the Bad Batch actually trying to get Crosshair to rejoin them. As they now know that his inhibitor chip is out and that he does have some autonomy and free will. And so I guess what I'm trying to say here, Jay, is I hope that Crosshair comes back to the Bad Batch alive, but it would also be pretty cool to see him sacrifice himself for the Bad Batch in season two, as you suggested. But let's move on to another great comment on the community tab by Milo Corrigan. They state, we know there's a time jump and Omega's growing up. Also, there will be a Coruscant scene, new characters, and finally a dark political episode. And for me personally, I'm really interested to see just how much Omega will grow up. Is it going to be a similar transition from Season 2 Ezra Bridger to Season 3 Ezra Bridger? Personally, that's what I'm hoping for, but Milo also had a large list of predictions. Let's get to them here. The first of which is that the Bad Batch will do rescue missions, helping many of their fellow clones escape slavery from the Empire. They also go on to state that this will all culminate in a clone rebellion, but certainly if the Bad Batch are going around the galaxy freeing clones, then a clone rebellion does make a lot of sense for the climax of Season 2. But that said, another really interesting prediction that Milo has in his list here is that we will see Nella Say's involvement in cloning on Mount Tantus, which would be really interesting to see. Would she be trying to clone Emperor Palpatine at this point? Or maybe we would see a very early version of Snoke. Either way, it'd be very interesting to see this tie in with The Mandalorian Season 3 Three, and of course the sequel trilogy. But hey, thanks for all those predictions, Milo. Let's move on now to ARAV GP. They have a couple of predictions as well, and the first one is, I think we will see Ahsoka, Maul, Rex, Gregor, and Wolf. And certainly, I think Rex and Gregor are definitely a given. We get to see both of them in Season 1, and I think the Bad Batch are going to be working more closely with Rex in Season 2. As far as seeing Ahsoka Tano in the Bad Batch Season 2, there certainly has to be a good reason for her to be there. And I'm thinking that a good reason for her to be there would be another Force user like Maul, though I don't think we're going to see Maul, but we could see another Inquisitor that is maybe on the trail of the Bad Batch, or maybe the Bad Batch comes along and helps Ahsoka escape a few Inquisitors. Though honestly, the more I think about it, the more that would just take our story away from the clones, so as much as I'd love to see Ahsoka, I really don't think it's going to happen. But that said, Arav also pointed out that he thinks we're going to see even more of the Underworld in the Star Wars galaxy, because the Underworld in Star Wars just hasn't been explored enough. And hey, I definitely agree with that Arav, the Underworld hasn't been explored enough, and if the Bad Batch are hiding from the Empire, then certainly hiding in the Underworld is something that makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense that we're going to see a lot more Sid and and other underworld characters coming and going in various episodes of season two. But hey, thanks for those predictions, Arav. Let's move on to Axe to the Max. He states on the community tab, I think the most we would ever get from Ahsoka is a reference. Even though her book takes place a year after Order 66, maybe the Bad Batch will have a time jump to that point in the timeline. And yeah, Axe to the Max, I think there's a good chance that Rex may bring up Ahsoka at some point, but you're absolutely right. If 
we look at the Ahsoka novel, Ahsoka is off doing her own thing at this time, and maybe the path of the Bad Batch and Ahsoka eventually come together in helping to form the early rebellion against the Empire, but even during season 1, it's hard to say how much time has passed. At one point, they sort of imply that the Bad Batch have gone on tons and tons of missions for Sid, and we've only seen a small amount of those. Plus, there's the fact that there's this rumored time jump as well between season 1 and season 2, so hey, maybe we do end up seeing Ahsoka as Fulcrum, and she at some point gives Rex or the Bad Batch some sort of mission to go on that helps the early rebellion. But hey, thanks for that comment, Axe to the Max. Always great to hear your speculation. But back over to the community tab, we got Shiny Starmy Studios, and they had a variety of predictions, but one that I found particularly interesting is the idea that Crosshair would leave the Empire after realizing they don't care about him, and I took this to mean that he wouldn't actually rejoin the Bad Batch. And hey, I really like this idea because we've seen this redemption story so many times in Star Wars, it'd be nice to see something a little different. Wouldn't it be interesting if Crosshair became a bounty hunter that is making his own way in the galaxy, and maybe by the end of the season he comes around and helps out the Bad Batch, saving their skin in some way, but still not rejoining them. But hey, thanks Shiny Starmy Studios, cool speculation. And here's some cool speculation about Crosshair from the Medieval Man 9, he states, as as for Crosshair, he'll figure out quickly enough that the Empire doesn't trust him, doesn't want him, doesn't consider him an asset in any way, and is looking for a way to just get rid of him. So he'll go on the run, but will need help in getting away. And to his surprise, the group that ends up rescuing him will be none other than the Bad Batch, because Crosshair would be a very valuable asset to the New Rebellion. And because of this, the Bad Batch will make a decision. They're joining this rebel group because they're not going to abandon Crosshair again. And yeah, Medieval Man 9, I'm loving this speculation. I could really see the struggle between Hunter and Omega. Omega coming of age and really wanting to be part of this rebellion, and Hunter still feeling like he needs to protect her. That would certainly be an interesting conflict and plot point, leading into this point where they ultimately rescue Crosshair and join the rebellion. So thanks for your predictions. And speculations medieval man 9 let's head back over to the community tab where we got jet blast 190 where he is also making an interesting prediction about crosshair he states I see an opportunity for Crosshair to become the model and foundation for the Death Trooper program and its first leader. His physical stature and design of his Season 1 armor, and the belief that his mutation makes him superior, all this suggests that he would be a perfect fit for this role within the Imperial military. And that's certainly some cool speculation, JetBlast190. Seeing Crosshair develop the Death Trooper program, this certainly sounds like it could be a Season 2 development, especially if Dave Filoni and Disney's plan is to go four seasons with this series. And that said, thank you for your speculation, JetBlast190, and thank you to everyone who left a comment on the community tab. Remember, you can make the Star Wars community a better place by sharing your speculation. Just make sure you don't take it too serious. As always, I'm Mike, and remember, the Force will be with you, always.